Tropical cyclone Gulab made landfall between the coastal states of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh on 26 September 2021. Gulab then weakened to a tropical depression as it moved westward and inland. India's National Emergency Response Center, NERC, reported 179,829 people have been affected by Gulab across 1,274 villages in Odisha. As of 28 September, 512 houses were damaged, with the worst damages reported in Koropit and Malkanjiri districts. A total of 46,075 people evacuated coastal areas of Odisha in preparation for the oncoming cyclone Gulab. In Andhra Pradesh, 3,940 people were evacuated ahead of the storm. As of 28 September, a total of 392 villages were affected in the state, with 156 homes damaged. Flooding was reported in Srikakulam, Vizayanagaram, Visakhapatnam and Kalingapatnam districts due to heavy rain and some storm surge in coastal areas. The city of Vishakhapatnam recorded over 280 millimeters of rain in 24 hours during the storm. NERC said the Nagavali River in Srikakulam was flowing 0.97 meters above the danger mark as of 28 September. Tropical depression Gulab then brought heavy rain to parts of Telangana, with Nizamabad district and areas of the state capital Hyderabad badly affected by flooding. Government offices and educational institutions were closed on 28 September 2021. As of 29 September, the worst of the flooding in Maharashtra was in Aurangabad Division, also referred to as Marathwada Region, situated in the southern central part of state along the border with Telangana.